the hero. Is this your hat? The story of Bluey began a long time ago, long before the Blue Heller pup came into the world. Much earlier than that. To tell the truth, we'll have to go back in time a few decades to the past when Bluey's grandfather, Mort Chili's father, served in the Australian Army. That's because, in case you didn't know, Bluey is a show set in Australia. <laughs> and the Blue Heller breed that Bluey and her father belonged to originated in the country, just like her mother and little sister Bingo, who were of the same species, but a variation called Red Heller. And the protagonist of our show's grandfather, named Mort, served in the Australian Army. And more than that, he was a war hero, as we can see from the medal he has in his house called the Victoria Cross. This Medal of Honor is simply the highest military decoration awarded for bravery in the presence of the enemy. In other words, this medal is the queen of medals, so for Grandpa Mort to win it, he really had to do something very heroic and fearless. This might be the reason why he's partially deaf and can't hear anything Bluey whispers in his ear, as many war veterans came home with this problem due to constant exposure to bomb noises. Nope. From the timeline we'll show shortly, it's possible that this happened during the Vietnam War, since not many people know this, but the country sent over 8,000 soldiers to that conflict and Grandpa Mort was one of them. The war peaked in the 1960s and 70s. And keep this information because it will be very important. Another interesting thing is that we see in the episode Granddad that he is an expert in the forest, which we now know is due to his military experience. At some point, after serving in the army, Mort meets Chili's mother and marries her, and we still don't know her name because it hasn't been mentioned in the show yet. But we do know that she died at some point before Bluey was born, and she was responsible for helping young Chili not give up on drawing and also helped her develop her love for horses. Thank you. Mort and his wife had two daughters between the 1970s and 1980s, Randy, the eldest, and a few years later, Chili, Bluey and Bingo's mother. Keep this information too, because now we'll talk about the other side of the family, Bandit's side. Bluey's dad. Bandit is the middle brother, and in the past, we can see that he was the one who used to tease his siblings, especially the youngest, Stripe. In the show, we see that the ones responsible for bringing these three brothers into the world were Nana and Bob, Bluey's paternal grandparents. And we know that by the 1980s, the three boys were already born and were mischievous children, as we can see in the episode, Fairy Tale. In fact, Nana is one of those grandmothers who do everything their grandchildren want. Oh, what a great thing. I saw you, Bingo. You saw my hat, Dad. Saw your life. I did. It was great. The truth is, we haven't seen Grandpa Bob since the grandparents' episode, but we know that the couple's first child is Bandit's older brother, Radley, who, despite being the oldest, is the only one of the siblings who hasn't gotten married yet. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Although he met Bluey's godmother, Frisky, and now they're dating. Radley works on an oil rig, so he never spent Christmas with his nieces. After Radley, Bandit, the protagonist of the series, was born, probably in the late 1970s. He was the most mischievous and, let's say, troubled among the brothers, always picking on the youngest brother, Stripe. The funniest part is that he admits that he used to be mean and then turned nice. One point for Bandit for his honesty and another point for becoming a better person. <laughs> the other uncle of the little pups is Stripe, who is much younger than the two brothers and was probably born in the late 1970s or early 1980s. He is also married to Trixie. They must have gotten married shortly before or even after Bluey's birth. Now that we know both sides of the family, let's continue the timeline, where Chili and Bandit meet at some point in the 1980s when Bandit was transitioning from being a bad boy to being good. She was wearing a superhero costume, and they were both very young, and she helps break the spell, so to speak, that was placed on Bandit by his brother Radley for being bad. And she simply says his name, freeing him from silence. Bandit Hero. Is this your hat? But everything indicates that they only reunited many years later at a party in London, where they probably were studying since Bandit is an archaeologist, which, by the way, must be a great profession for a dog, uncovering, among other things, bones. We see this in the episode show. It's also in this episode that we witness one of the more adult moments in the series, where it's implied that before Bluey was born, Bandit and Chili had another baby, but it seems that Chili suffered a miscarriage. This leads us to another interesting point in the show. Motherhood in Chili's family is quite complicated, 
as her mother passed away before seeing her granddaughters. And there was suspicion that Chili couldn't have babies, especially after the miscarriage. In the episode Overalls, we learn that Chili's sister Brandy cannot have children, implying that she is infertile. So when Bluey was born, it must have been a great joy, as it put to rest the suspicion that Chili couldn't have children. Unfortunately, this weighs on her mind, and she worries that she might still fail as a mother, as shown in the Magic Xylophone episode, where we see her feeling responsible for Bluey not yet walking, which she eventually achieves in an emotionally touching scene. When Bluey was just two years old, Bingo, her younger sister, was born. I'm coming out! Ah! Well, who's gonna deliver my baby? When the series began, Bluey was six years old, turning seven over the course of the episodes, while Bingo was four years old at the start of the series and turns five in the handstand episode. Stripe and Trixie have two little ones, who are Bluey and Bingo's cousins. They are named Muffin, who was born between one and two years after Bingo, and Socks, who was born two years after Muffin. It is also speculated that Socks may have autism, but this has not been confirmed by the show's creators. This is because, among the characters who are all dogs, he is the only one who occasionally acts like a dog, walking on all fours and even biting. I was mad at you because you bit me, and you didn't say sorry. Muffin was three years old at the beginning of the series and is now four, while Sox was one year old and turned two during the show. We know that Bluey, in addition to being very creative, enjoys playing doctor and has had some favorite animals like zebra, bats, and even cheetahs. She also takes martial arts classes and knows how to play the recorder. On the other hand, Bingo takes ballet and gymnastics classes and plays mini hockey, a popular sport in Australia. Another interesting fact about Bingo is that in her early days of school, she made friends with a pup named Lila. We'll talk about her in just a bit. Throughout her childhood, Bluey made many friends, including Judo, Frank, Chloe, Sausage, Cacao, Mackenzie, among many others. Yes, there really are a lot of them. But we have to highlight one quick and very memorable friendship of Bluey's, John Luke, a Canadian pup who spoke French and was at the same holiday camp as Bluey. Despite not understanding what he was saying, they had fun and played together a lot. But because she didn't understand French, he says goodbye and she doesn't understand, thinking they will see each other again the next day, which doesn't happen. While playing, Bluey and Jean-Luc plant the seed of a peach, and at the end of the episode, we see that the seed, over many seasons, grew into a large tree, under which the now teenage Bluey sits to read a book. Surprisingly, after many years, Jean-Luc reappears in the same place, and they reunite with the episode ending open-endedly, leaving us wondering what happens next. At the same time, do you remember Lila, the friend that Bingo made in kindergarten? They became best friends and simply grew up together, graduating and always being there for each other, proving that good friendships can withstand the test of time. While their sisters grew up, of course, their friends also grew, but we still don't know how each of them turned out, their appearances and their behaviors. Perhaps this is something that will be explored in future seasons of Bluey as it can track the development and lives of the two sisters who, despite being a children's show, clearly was made for parents to watch as well and not get bored, as there are many touching and emotional messages throughout the show that only adults can fully understand. But it's undoubtedly a very, very cool show. That was the story of Bluey from start to finish. We've reached the end of the video, folks, but the journey continues. Take a look at these amazing videos that are about to appear. You definitely won't want to miss the first one.